Welcome to another CATIA V5 video. We are going to take a look at measure elements within CATIA V5. So the measurement tools are available within the part design on the bottom section. As you can see, the first one will be measure between and the second one will be measure item. So I have the case study over here from um, my previous video, the atomizer. If you haven't seen that, this is an older legacy file and I create a video regarding the migration and file conversion for older files. So to get started with the measure between, we're going to have three options over here. So the first one will be measure between. The following one will be measure between in chain mode. And as you're going to see, those dimensions will be positioned like this in chain mode. And afterwards, we have in fan mode. So let's start with the first one. For the selection, we're going to see that we have the possibility to either start directly from a specific element, for example, a point, an edge or surface. So I can make this from point to point, for example. And afterwards, if I will move my mouse on top of this object, you're going to see that since this was a converted object, if I'm going to take a look over here at the part body, this will be a solid body. Therefore, we won't be able to directly select a point over here. But for example, I can go surface only to surface only for this one. And we're going to see that we're going to obtain those surface selections. If I will move the mouse cursor over this face, we're going to see that this will be a planar face. And afterwards, I can go to a different selection, for example, this one. And we're going to have that distance, in this case, 8.062 millimeters indicated over here. And we're going to see the selection. In this case, since the part body name is longer, since this was a converted file from a master file, we see that the measure between window has also rescaled in order to integrate the name over here for the selection. But by default, you can keep this to any geometry. Therefore, for example, we're going to see this will give us a selection for the axis. And afterwards, I can select a different axis, the one that is cut through the part. And we're going to see those values position over here. So they are at 90 degrees. And we're also going to have that minimum distance position over here. So this is the first measure between option. The following one will be measure, uh, so it will be with chain, in chain mode. I will click on cancel so that I can have all those cleared. If I will click OK, all the measurements done will remain over here. So within the part three, we're going to have the measure subfolder over here for the three, and we're going to have those two measurements. If I will click cancel, those will be uh, let's say cancelled, therefore they won't remain over here. So keep that in mind. If you want the measures to remain in the part, you have to click on OK afterwards. We also have the check over here to keep the measure. So I had that check initially. By default, this is not checked. And let's take a look at the chain selection mode. So maybe for this part, I want to do a chain selection from this edge all the way over here. We're going to have the value position. So if you want to change the location of this, it's important to do it now. Because afterwards, if I will do the following selection, you're going to see that value over there. And I can no longer click on the previous one. So if I'm going to go back one step, back again, so all the way over here, this is the first one. And we see that. Even though I press the undo, this is not editable. So you need to have that reposition um, when you create it. So I'm going to click OK and keep this measure. And uh, we're going to see that that measure will disappear, even though I had that caps measure check over there. So let me do that again. I will have that reposition. We have the measure between. Keep the measurements. Click OK, and now Katia managed to keep that measure. So 
initially it uh, was a little bit buggy should have kept that and as you can see we now have the possibility to reposition this if we want to so to go along with the measure in chain mode i will just do a chain selection over here so for example this one will be 3.5 and now for the following one i just need to select the following loop and we're gonna have that dimension position so we see 13.5 all the way over here to that radius and for example if i want to go all the way to this section we're going to have that value added since this is within chain mode they will be positioned like this i will click ok now and i will hide the previous measurements and we're going to take a look at the following one which is the fan mode and we see that the annotations will be positioned like this so the dimension constraints so the first one will be this one will be positioned over here for the following one it will be positioned over here and again for the next one they will be positioned over there now usually within the fan mode the annotation should uh, appear to be differently so let me cancel that and have this uh, work again so we have the other axis that we can use i will not keep the measurements so let's start let's say that this will be the first section we see the annotation position over here now for the following one i will click on that and on the other one and we're going to see how this will be positioned over here i will keep the measure so that the previous one will be saved and we're going to see that they should be positioned a little bit um, down so we have the 59 was positioned over there and now for the following one over here will be again the 59 the 62 so usually it should position those a little bit differently currently it's quite similar to the chain mode as you can see let me just cancel that and um, try once again so i'm gonna keep this with the axis so this profile to that profile will be over there we also have this calculation mode to exact and approximate but by default this will be exact else approximate and we're gonna see where exactly katia approximates some of the values mainly for the measure of the thickness for the parts especially for revolve parts but as you can see now this work okay so measure between in fan mode we have the first dimensional position over here the second one will be positioned a little bit um, down and now the third one will be even further so it's not a huge let's say difference between those two you can always have those um, reposition but keep in mind that only the last one if you want to change the location of this you need to go um, like i showed you previously and have that change over there so i will have that cancel let's take a look at the following one so we're going to see that the next one will be the measure item so even though i started the measurement tool over here on measure between if i will click on measure item this will actually open the following tool at the bottom measure item and we're going to see that we have the possibility to measure for example this cylinder and we're going to obtain that radius over here and again if i will go for the for the next one you're going to see the radius we can also measure between like this and we're going to obtain um, also the x value and the radius as well in this case and the last option is measure the thickness and as you can see with measure thickness if i will move my mouse over here on this profile this was created using a revolve but we see that depending on the points where the measurement is taken we're going to have slightly different value so over here it will be 1.958 but if i'm going to slightly move the mouse i'm going to see that 
those value will change even though the thickness of the part is not changing so if i will go over here within a section view of the part this was created using a revolve so that distance will uh, remain the same in order to highlight that i will create a new revolve part over here so for a revolve part we're gonna need an axis i'm gonna slightly move that i'm gonna go with the profile and with the profile tool let's say that this will be our profile i'm also gonna close this with an horizontal line and afterwards have that all selected and have that offset at two millimeters and uh, with the tool line i need to close this in order to be able to do that revolve so it's shaft as it's called over here within katia but i usually call it revolve because that's the usual naming for uh, revolve parts within solidors or fusion so i will click ok and we know that the thickness over there was set to two millimeters so even though i will go over here with measure item measure thickness the same problem like within this revolve you're gonna see that those value will be close to the nominal two millimeters so even though it's actually two millimeter thickness over there even if for the calculation mode i will go to exact for example you're gonna see that still that will um will change it in, will not be exactly two millimeters if i'm gonna go for approximate we're gonna see that the same uh, will happen over there so keep that in mind for um, circular elements it's not only for revolve if for example i will create two two circles over here and let's say the first one radius of 10 the second one only eight if i'm gonna have this padded and i'm gonna go with the measure thickness over here it will be the same problem so we see that we don't have that nominal two value over here the default colors for this since we have um, that part with this gray it will be quite harder to see that value so we can change that within the options also keep that in mind but we have the same problem but for example if i'm gonna use an extrude profile maybe i will use let's say a rectangle like this with 50 and 60 over here and i will create another rectangle starting from the same point which will be only 46 over here and uh, over here 56 so we're gonna have that thickness defined over there if i'm gonna have this padded and i will use the same measure thickness we're gonna see that over here katia won't have any problem and we are gonna have that constant two millimeter thickness so only for revolve surface or not many revolve let's say circular profiles like this one we're gonna see that the measure thickness won't uh, won't work properly now other elements that we can measure are angles and to highlight that i will create another profile over here so let's say that this will be inclined like that i'm gonna have this padded so it doesn't matter how how long that will be now if i'm gonna go for the measure if i will select this face over here which is at an angle and this one we're gonna see that along with the minimal distance which is from that point all the way over here which will have that uh, that value we're also going to receive the angle over here so over here if you don't have the angle position you can go to customize you can activate the 3d angle over here because by default this won't be activated and you will only receive the distance you want to see the angle over here so we see the minimum distance and the angle but if you also want to visualize in 3d the angle you will need to have that activated and now for example if i'm going to go within that sketch of the of that pad 
if I will change that angle, so over here we have this uh, 49, let me just add this to 40, I'm gonna exit that, we're gonna see that even though that updated, we still have this measurement, we have a looping measure over here, so I will go over here, go to local update, and now that has been updated and will be 50 degrees. Within the options you can set this to automatic update. I usually keep it like, like this, but keep that in mind that you can also enable automatic update when you do some changes. Okay, so this was an overview. I see that the video is already 50 minutes long regarding the measure between and the measure item tool. I highly encourage you to start uh, create some um, some models within part design and see how those feature will um, will work. So I will position a similar video over here on the bottom to the left. I will add this video to the Katia V5 tips and tricks playlist that I will position on the top. And I will also add a subscribe button. So please consider to, to subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Okay, so I hope you find this useful. If so, let me know in the comment section below. So, thanks for watching.